Hello everyone, it is the Last Blue here, coming to you with something different, as you can tell by the title. Still in Civ 4 Beyond the Sword, however it's kind of a mod for it, called Afterworld, um, as you can see here, designed by Tim McCracken. Um, I've never played this, it comes with the game automatically, there's a bunch of mods which are thrown into it. I don't really play the mods that much, except for Caveman to Cosmos, obviously and to be on the sword itself, which is like the actual kind of expansion scenario to it. Um, this seems to be a very different sort of feel to a Civ game. I, I don't think that you have cities in it, at least from what I can tell. But uh, let's, let's jump right in here because it's pretty loud on the main screen. Close your eyes. Try to keep breathing. You place your gate on your first gate ride. Traveling with a ripple of space is unpleasant at first. It's been so long I forgot my first ride. The anxiety and expectation. The mystery. Not, not many mysteries remain unsolved. We've charted what was once thought infinite while blind reaching out in the dark. Our fingertips confirmed the ceiling. The forces which bound us in place during our infancy now manipulate and reproduce to leisure, altering gravity to support our city's impossible heights. The wave gate might seem an eye, flying rapidly through transports that transports us through time and space, and our destination, the first successful manufacturing star system, Mish, populated to accompany something. This is reading too fast even for me. I get an ambience of. You can read it there. It's pretty quick. So. Obviously, this is set away in the future. You won only because you cheated. He didn't cheat, he outsmutted us. It's called Tactics, kid. It's three different voice actors here. Sacrificing your squad to win, bravado, and luck. I was outnumbered and undergunned. What did you expect me to do? Die with honor. was to win the game. To make it home, I had to sacrifice some pawns. I think he seems pretty angry there. Ever more reason why Jal is in command and you're whack. Before we touch down, you would need to understand exactly what we're up against. It looks like there's a, like a commando unit here or something on the lines. Got lucky. Try me on the field and wheel. Smack his hand again? No, probably not. He keeps on being interrupted by something. God, the ambience is so loud. Raga. Apologies. Augustine just went public about their operations. They're going to shut down the system and detonate the star. Atticus will explain the specifics. The public won't hear. Some not exaggerated enough. Oh my god, this is lasting forever. It's like a five minute cutscene. Golems, or go go golems, golems. It's projected an unknown radiation as the cause of research team was sent to investigate. Do we have to find this team? Also, by the results of radiation, the team was unable to transfer data back. Constance the device stored the data as transmitting a weak signal general idea of where it is down there. I, I'm actually pretty impressed that they did all this, like, stuff in Civ 4. Like, obviously, this is just, like, one of the videos which they put in. But, uh, actually trying to make a story out of it. But, I mean, like, oh my god, this is really lasting forever. Body tanks. Grave bringers. Oh my god. So obviously, this they're in the really far future, and we're a team that go has to find a communications research team. Pretty standard stuff in the future. Two people aren't getting along, and but they all have to work together. I don't know if they actually have to work together. It doesn't look like it, but whatever. Oh my god. So, 
touchdown report malfunctions. We'll work through what we have. Can I start the game now, please? Do I get a way to start the game? Okay, things they aren't looking for friends either. Well, that's that's fantastic. Can we can we go then? Start. Look, I don't know, don't get me wrong, I like a good story, but I mean, my god, this is really going on too long. There we go. There are multiple objectives to this scenario. The minimap will display a ping, identifying your current objective. Your first objective is to move John to the reconnaissance device, where she will copy the information. She must remain there for five turns until the transfer is complete. There's talking at the bottom there as well. Oh, okie okay, okay. I don't know what these things are. I guess they are my team. Atticus, Raga, Sever, Jala, Christ. Um, check here for the options. Oh, the audio is set. It's... And we'll go for Russell. So obviously there's some chatter going on around down here. Let's move these guys up. Okay, like why is it like really awkwardly zoomed in? Oh, okay, that's just for that. I just can't seem to get, like, an overhead. Can I zoom in? Or zoom out to here? Which is... Interesting. So we found a... found a wall. Just moving our guys forward here. Don't even know what they are. Really? Looks like we're we're just stay here. This dude back here could probably move forward a bit. Good enough. So I don't even know where I need to go. I just see the the ruins of a ah. Get open the door. Looks to be some upgrade canisters, as it were. But the hidden throughout the map there are three types of consoles. The upgrade console gives free experience to the unit which moves onto it. Repair and acceleration consoles hold items which can be picked up and used later in return to return health and movement. That's pretty cool. So I guess both of these guys will take these upgrades. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. So we'll move along. I got I believe a movement upgrade or Something. It's down here. Oh! A bleeder! Don't know what that is, but, you know. Bleeds. 99.9%. .9%. Look at that, you guys actually... Whack. Whack. Treated. 9.4, but... Ah, there is a secondary entrance. It's a little bit of a problem here since I can't I need to move. Oh well, there goes there. The bleeder is down. All right, so these guys have upgrades. Increase body tanks movement per turn. Mobilizes some hostile units. Returns all of the target's moves. Uh, detonator delivers damage, increases the close range damage, extends the range of another weapon, increases the viewable distance. Let's go with the close range damage for now. Oh, somebody, somebody, somebody's here. I have no idea what the hell these things are. Already, Jesus. Should probably move forward as like a squad instead of just like throwing people out all over the place. But I swear to you, there are there are bleeders everywhere. Coming from behind now. Can I 
turn on quick combat, please, after the stream. As much as I do like the combat, this is a little insane. This is absurd. Oh my god. is being beat up on. It's, it's incredible. Alright. Targets can only be acquired within the line of sight of a unit. Make sure to turn right and left. Well then. Thank you for that. Uh, do we have... Yeah, we're gonna do a quick combat. Because <laughs> this game... This mod at least is interesting without it. Let's, let's, let's move out. So the actual squares here, which look like your culture tiles, I guess are your like your your line of sight. This bleeder's almost dead. Just take him out. Kinda retreat back a bit here. Kinda regroup. I'd rather us all held out on Yeah, but this guy is, like, pretty heavily damaged. I want him to get over there. I want him to fortify until healed. At least there's, like, a group here. We'll spend the turn and heal up all these people, at least a bit. For a better view of the action, the game camera graphics can be spun off full 360 degrees. Ah, see, look at that! It's control right and left arrows. So there's no way to move it up, but at least we could rotate it around. Alright, let's move forward. So we're gonna move forward kind of as a, a squid. I think these are all of them. So we have to get to that ping spot on the bottom. But I'm I'm planning on moving up like this because it will it will be better. Ah, so you can do ranged attacks with these guys if we if we spot them. So like here, fifty three damage. Jeez. There you go. So you do it. He has one movement. Nope, can't move up. You just want to move up then. Excellent. Oh. So here. You will... Yes, I don't know. It's hardly fortifying until healing because you're going to move next turn, but... I don't like that this guy's like so heavily injured. So at least like this, when we move up, uh, it'll be better to do range combat with some and keep some on the front lines. Attacking. Oh, jeez. Look at the just running out of everyone, man. I, I'm pretty sure I said quick combat, but apparently quick combat does not mean quick combat for them. Apologies for having to go in here and do this. Just, did it turn off quick combat? Okay, how much, how much health does this person have? Okay, they're dead. Okay, obviously that's not, uh, I, I do like the range, seems to be a pretty nice, uh, little thing there, so we can still move up, up, oh, these guys have upgrades, anti, delivers damage to organic and non-organic targets, it's pretty cool. It's an antimatter missile. Oh, look at that! They like put a little missile on top of his, top of his ship. That's pretty cool. You have an upgrade. You close range attack because you're right on the front lines. So we can kind of play it slow because I'm terrified.
next turn we'll keep him. Ah, uh, here we go. Look at that. Boom! At least, I just want to make sure that quick combat does it. It does. It goes off every single turn. Look at that. See, that's why I was like, I'm pretty sure that I did this. I'm not happy that they do that. Do I have a certain amount of ranged attacks? No. These ranged attacks are pretty useful. Yeah, these ranged attacks make my life a hell of a lot easier. Oh, we got a bleeder up there. Uh, visibility's not good. Ah, the range is off. Okay. You... Have to have to wait here. There we go. All right, starting to get the hang of this. Instead of running in like a madman. I discovered that, you know, staying together as a squad is probably better. So I'm going to actually probably have to fortify up here with these guys. Because they're not looking too good. Oh, there goes the quick combat. So I'm going to be attempt to be quick. I'll mobilize some hostile units. I want the close range attack, I guess. For... Can I not fortify heal again? Apparently not. This guy's pretty damaged, actually, for... Could go pretty quick. Go, go, go! So this is, like, totally different than Sith. Than, like, any Sith thing that I've done. It's pretty weird, actually. Kick down the door! Got some visibility here. Let's move slightly out of the doorway. It's kind of like a, you know, unique, I guess, uh, way showing off this game. I'll, I'll give it that. It certainly is different. What's in here? Oh, there's bleeders. Out of range, but this guy better be prepared. The only quick combat actually stayed quick. I guess the idea is that, like, you know, it's supposed to immerse you and blah de blah de blah de blah de blah de blah But, I personally like convenience. I don't need to see the animation every single time. Just keep on running up there and then just getting slaughtered. Yeah, like this guy's pretty injured. I don't know what these are. Repair. This guy's like really heavily injured. Okay, so I think you need repair units to fortify. I think that's the way that this works. So we need to go somewhere up here. Here we go. All right, so we did. So we did the right thing. We're around the right area. Ish. So uh, yeah, it's a good time to stop here. So next time we will kick down the doors and go to the server. And see, because we need to survive five turns there, I remember them saying. So, we'll see what happens.
can we survive in the server room? Or will we be uh, doomed to fail? Who knows? I have no idea because I haven't played. So thank you all for watching, everyone. This has been The Last Beluga. Out.